Acción, tu revista mensual de cine y series, con los mejores estrenos de cine, fichas y reportajes coleccionables, series de televisión y ocho pósters todos los meses. Búscala en tu kiosco. Thank you. Um, it's it's a uh, it's a fast paced uh, spy thriller with a lot of action, um, a lot of heart, and a lot of emotion. I've seen the first two episodes. Okay. I have the feeling that the, there are a lot of uh, spy thrillers these these days, but the kind of uh, action that is so presents to the to the audience is completely different. That it has a lot more. It seems more like a, TV, a movie. Than yes. A TV show. Yeah. Between that to to work with that that kind of production with uh, huge shootings, huge uh, car chasings. How's been that? Um, that's challenging because uh, we don't have a lot of time to really film the shows. And so when you're doing, um, that's the thing, especially in particular with the action, because uh, I have to, it, you know, it's, we work on an eight day schedule. So we shoot a whole episode in eight days, which is really fast. Um, and so in the meantime, I also have to choreograph my fight scenes and stunt scenes in, in between of all of that. So everything is very fast paced. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. that and also to have that smaller scenes but that heart of the show that are the scenes between you and, and uh, Jennifer and, uh, yes in that because they are great great scenes and it's oh, thank you. That, like you are having a lot of fun with those scenes yes thank you um yeah no, those scenes are fun because in the midst of the action and chasing the bad guy um it's always fun to to get to a point to where you can have an emotional scene with a, with a great actress in, in, in Jennifer. So it's, um, those, are, those are always, those are always very welcome for an actor because you know, it's, you know, it's fun to do stunts and you know, chase the bad guy, but you know, as an actor, you like more challenging scenes. And so I kind of get the best of both worlds in, in the show. So I have the feeling that it has a vibe close to the Cold War the movies and the Cold War uh, TV shows of mm -hmm. uh, spy thrillers. Mm -hmm. Something completely different that we are used to these days, that is more like something dependent from 9-11 uh, or something like that. This mm -hmm. is completely different. It's like a, something, a, a look back in the, to the past to, to another kind of show. Do you uh, have that feeling too? Yeah, I, I have a feeling. And I think that um, I think that our writer, Ken Woodruff, he's, he's done a lot of research and, and um, it's very... Um, He was very thoughtful in the way he was putting together the show to have that type of feel. And also, I have the feeling that the first sentence that the show starts with, that yeah, a hundred thousand right. spies right now, it's kind of something scary right now these days to, to feel like a hundred thousand people are in another country doing work for another country. Right. Is that uh, something that, that that you have in mind? Because in the show. You don't know who can you can trust or who is telling the truth or who is working with the bad guy. Right, right. Yeah, you know that was uh, that's a true fact. I mean, uh, the writer Ken Woodruff he did his research and, and and that's what he came up with. And um, it it to me it just makes things um, yeah it could be scary, um, but it was really just to set up the premise of the show to make it more interesting. Jennifer Carpenter, her, her yes. daughter Erica is in a path of redeem herself. Yes. Uh, but I have the feeling that your character is also looking for redemption because he lost her, his fiance mm -hmm. and he, he wasn't able to protect her. Right. So he, is, he has the feeling that he has to redeem himself. Right. Yeah, there was there is there is a, a sense of guilt that he wasn't able to protect her from that, and there is a, a sense of responsibility that he has for that. So you're you're right; he does want to redeem himself as well. And also, he has some empathy with 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 her, with her was his worst nightmare has been that because it doesn't feel sometimes it feels unnatural for your character to to have to some. Have, some 
gesture with her. Right, yeah, it, you're right. It's unnatural for me to really have empathy for the person who caused the death of my fiance. Um, and that's just, that's just the, the, the interesting dynamic that I definitely wanted to play um, with this character because um, a lot of people feel that, you know, I would just hate and, and anger for someone who caused the death. But um, just knowing who, who she is, because in order for me to catch her, I had to pursue her and I knew her tendencies. I knew what she was, I knew what, I knew what, she, what she was about. I did a lot of research on her and her character. And so I knew um, that she was faced with a very challenging decision um, when she decided to do what she did, which caused the death of my fiance. Um, so I can definitely empathize with her. Doesn't mean I have to like it, but I can definitely empathize with her. How is that dynamic between the both of you? It's going to evolve. So it's, 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 it's probably gonna be a give and take. Um, they're, gonna be, they're gonna be, as with a loss, when you, when you saw for the loss like, like I have, uh, like the character has, is you have your good days and you have your bad days. Um, and it's probably going to be a give and take throughout the season. There's uh, also this team you were with. There's yes. chemistry between the four of you. Yes. Uh, how do you manage to, to, to have that kind of chemistry between a group of, of actors that you work together and also you are a team in the show? Yeah, yeah. You know, that was, uh, that was interesting because we, you know, they, they just cast, I mean, our cast is incredible. Um, all of the actors are very um, giving. Um, thoughtful and considerate people, as well as actors, and so when we just get to, when we got together, um, you know, we did a few, you know, uh, read throughs, a few dinners, and it's just and just everything just clicked. No, but the, your character was there everything we see in the script, or do you have the, the the chance to to put something to because you you just said that you have to new. Erica, mm -hmm. your character has mm -hmm. to Erica yes. to catch her. Mm -hmm. but what about your character? Did you have to know him to play him? Did you have to definitely, him? definitely. Um, I definitely add some things, and that's the thing. So when we, Jennifer and I come together, she has things that she has in her um, her research and in her, in her um, background of her character that I don't know. And I have things about my character that she didn't know. So when we come, we're basically playing some things that each other doesn't know, um, as, as well as I think, in large part for, with with my character, um, just the journey of my character. When I did the bio, the bio of the character, I, I, I put in a lot of things that would have um, uh, little intricate details that would affect my relationship with her. We live nowadays in, in times of the stream, Netflix. Yes. YouTube, but this is a, an old-fashioned network, so yeah. that not only it relies on audience, that it ha it also has to to uh, to do a week uh, an episode a week so to to have the, the audience waiting for the next episode. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about this change in, in TV and also to be in an old-fashioned? So that's the challenge. I mean, uh, nowadays the audience, they want to binge watch. They don't want to wait a week to see the next episode. They want to see, you know, watch the next, they want to do a marathon like and binge watch on a, on a weekend. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's challenging, you know, um, but I think hopefully we can just, we can, you know, we can cut through it all and, and they'll wait for us from week to week. And, um, yeah, I like being on network, um, you know, I, you know, network television is, is great, um, but it's, it's hard nowadays because people want it now. They want to see episode after episode after, and they don't want to wait. But it seems like the audience is... So far. Really well. Uh, so far. So how have the feeling about it? Is, are we going to see, for instance, the Bible guy this season, or we have to wait till season two because we only hear a voice, but... I think I think you will definitely get to see him this season. You will definitely get to see the bad guy this season. I have a, I have a very strong hunch that you will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.